Welcome to Horizon Love Your City Night. We're going to wrap some presents tonight. If you want to follow me, I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing. So in here, we've got all of our gifts that are ready to be packed. And we've got lots of fun toys for kids. We've got race cars. We've got chocolates and some warm gloves to keep them warm this winter. There's tons of items that have just been um, bought for everybody and we're so excited to give them. Out here we have where things get checked to make sure everybody gets a little bit of everything. We get them checked and then they move to our wrapping tables, which is my favorite. I love getting the box to be perfect down to a science. We're gonna have over 500 gifts wrapped tonight and it's gonna be so exciting. Looks like we're about to start. Let's go see what Carly's saying. She's got all the instructions. I'm really excited that you guys are all here and gonna be part of it. We can do this as a family and that's awesome. And they should have Details, so important. Five minutes later. That was a lot of instructions. Well, let's move on to the next section. These are our box makers. They're pros at it by now. How many boxes do you think that you could get finished in one minute? One. Oh. Well, maybe we need to get more people on box making because we need lots of boxes made. All our wrappers getting set up. Let's see. Let's see how many they think they can get finished. Sandy, question for you. How many boxes do you think you could wrap in one minute? Oh. Tons. Tons. So that's what we're trying to beat right now. Tons. I'm going to go see what this table over here thinks so they can... Oh, we've got a challenge. Shirley. Shirley, I have a question for you. I hear that you're one of our pro gift box wrappers. Okay. How many boxes do you think you could wrap in one minute? Oh. One? One. Oh! That's not going to beat our other, other people saying they can do tons. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see our next table. Sarah, I have a question for you. How many boxes do you think you could wrap in one minute? I would ask that question, but I'm not a wrapper. So. Oh, are you a quality control person? Tell us what quality control is all about. Uh, quality control is making sure they have everything they need in their boxes in the right quantity and quality. We want to make sure everyone gets a gift. Yes, we do. We want to make sure they're equal. As you can see, these tables are quickly becoming empty, which means that we have more and more presents being filled. These are some of the things we're giving away this year. We've got monster trucks. I love me a good monster truck. Play-Doh, Play-Doh, memories, toys, candy. I think this is our kids' favorite station where they just get to destroy the boxes. Holden! Come here. How fast do you think you can destroy a box? Um, really fast. Okay, can you show me? Uh, yeah. Let's see it. That's awesome. Thanks, Holden. Let's see what's out here. Hey, Sarah, I hear that you are in charge of quality control. <laughs> Yep, yep, I'm in charge of some quality control, yep. Have you seen any just horribly wrapped boxes? I wouldn't say wrapped boxes, but I've seen some boxes missing plenty of toys. Oh, so it's a good thing that you're in charge here. Yeah, it is. Okay, have you had to fire anybody from packing? Uh, pretty close, pretty close. I know. It's a good thing that we've got you to keep us all, making sure all the <laughs> gifts are equal. So I'm here with Erin, and I'm just going to ask her real quick. What is your favorite part about our adoptive school and giving back gifts at Christmas time? Um, well, I have kids, so I'm all for blessing kids, but I just love being able to use the skills that I have, as simple as it is, um, to help out and to serve. So Yeah, yeah I love that we get to give back at Christmas and love teach it. families and kids, like, it. it's not just about getting, it's about giving, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's check back in with Sandy and see how she's doing over at the wrapping station. How is it going with wrapping tons of gifts? You know what? I've got a really crack team with me here. So I've got Carrie and Daryl and Heather and Camille. And we are just rocking it. I think this is the file that is the biggest in the wrapped room. So it is looking lovely at this table. Let's see how these people over here are doing. How's it going at this table? Oh, awesome. This is so much fun. So is this your first time? My very first time. And yes. what, are, what are your initial thoughts? 
Oh, I just love all the organization. It's so well planned and all. And it feels like a little crazy, but it's just organized. Organized fun. chaos, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. He's ready to take more gifts. Shirley, what is your favorite part about this whole project of wrapping gifts and giving them to the students? It's family. I feel like I'm with my family. And just the thought of bringing delight to some kids that might not get anything for Christmas. All right, that's amazing. <laughs> She's my grandma. So Carly, how has tonight gone so far? It's gone pretty well so far, I think. Still wrapping. Any like major blow-ups that would be like, what are we doing? Well, we've got a few extra pieces lying about, so we're gonna have to figure out which ones go where. We just give someone this whole box, you know, a whole bunch of Play-Doh, a whole bunch of chocolate. Lots of chocolate. This happens every year though, doesn't it? It really does. No matter how much planning you do, you can't avoid it. Let's do one more check here with the gifts. Oh my goodness, look at these boxes. Hey, Pastor Daniel, how are things going in here? Well, uh, welcome to Quality Control, where the quality is control. Th this isn't quality control. Uh, it's the quality control of the stacking. And uh, our helpers here, we got stacks. Uh, Corin, good math. Daniel, big math guy. Big math guy here. And uh, yeah, Calculating those stacks. The, the calculations. And so we're just stacking the boxes in, in tens, actually. Tens. Uh, so, so this one here that's not... Is it waiting for more? Quick math guy, four missing boxes. That means there's six here, four to go. Math guy. Come on. Kels here, all right. So Kels, what has been your favorite part about tonight? Oh. All of it? Translation? What does that mean? Yeah. Translation is it's oh. been a very uh, great night. Uh, more than I ever expected, actually. And I'm a little bit overwhelmed, if I'm honest, right now. Look at all those emotions. So overwhelmed with emotions. Holden, how many boxes did you carry in here? Um, I don't know. Like, more than five? Yeah. More than 15? Yeah, I think. How about like, what do you think, like maybe like 35? Maybe 20. Ooh, 20 is a pretty good number. What is your favorite part of Christmas? Opening the presents. Opening the presents! That's a pretty good that's a pretty good thing. So that's what we've got tonight. We're so excited to give these out on Tuesday. I can't wait. Wednesday. Wednesday. It's a good thing this is a recap video and not a live one. Okay, how many think you we're gonna have total? Four hundred and eighty six. Did you just do quick math and count all these together and calculate? No, I just just guessed. Why don't you just do like some quick math right now? What's 140 plus 137 plus 165 plus 144? 486. Whoa, 486! Who's got their calculator? Check it out. Check. Quick, quick, quick. 586. This guy did it with his quick maths. What's been your favorite part about tonight? Uh, packing the packing the boxes. Yeah, I think that's pretty. That's my favorite favorite part of the night. But I might have said that like ten times tonight, so it could be just everything's my favorite. Good morning, it's day two. We get to start packing our hampers this morning. I'm ready for Christmas, as you can tell, in the giving spirit. We're gonna go look at our first truckload of produce. Look at all that milk and alphagettis and Pop and cereal. Vim, how much milk, like how many liters do you think we have total? 150, 200, maybe more. 200 liters. We could do some math on that later. I'm not going to do it. It'll be wrong. We'll ask someone who knows their math. So our volunteers will come in through here. We're gonna have all these stage decks filled with food. We're gonna have boxes for them to fill up. They'll go down the aisles, fill them with food, and then we're gonna be so excited to be going and giving them out to our city today. So here's where we're gonna start our day. Each one of these boxes is gonna be filled with 
um, flour and cooking supplies and cake and turkey. There's going to be so much um, different options for these families. Two weeks worth of food, a Christmas dinner. I'm so excited. Carly, what exactly are you doing over here? So I am labeling all the different boxes that each each family gets. So each family gets, you know, um, like one, two or three boxes and a bag. And I'm putting the labels on the bags because this says whether they get a ham or a turkey. Or so, so do they get to choose what type of meat that they get? Yes, they do. And then we get them that and we give them a nice big turkey or ham or chicken or whatever it is. And we put it in this bag. That's awesome. Save On has been so great. They've helped us with like getting tons of different food and being able to be able to feed all these people. They've helped so much this weekend. And then once people come get their box from this station, they'll then take their box and go to one of these aisles and just follow the instructions. One ginger ale, one milk, one turkey, whatever it is on their list. And then they fill it up till the end. Liza, we're coming for you. <gasps> we're going to ask you, what is your favorite part about packing hampers? I think my favorite part about packing hampers would be actually the delivery of them and seeing the faces of kids. I remember one time when we delivered hampers mm -hmm. and there were these little kids and they were so excited because their names were on a gift. And that's that, so sweet. And so that just brought, like, we actually put their name on the gift, and so they knew it wasn't just someone, had, it was just not a generic not gift. Not just, yeah. It was a gift, individual for them. Just for them. Yeah. That is so sweet. So sweet. And what is your job here on oh. packing day? I am uh, making sure that the boxes are all labeled correctly, and then I am quality control at the end. Quality control. Sure that everything that should be in the boxes is in the boxes. Yeah, because we don't want someone missing out on their yogurt. Right. Can't go without your yogurt. Okay, let's see. What else? Who can we talk to? Who can we see? Let's go see Anita, see how she's doing. Anita, you're on camera. <laughs> Good morning. How excited are you for today? We're excited. Our family is here, and first time ever we're taking part in this, so it's organized. We got some first timer. Organized it is, and we're so excited to be a part of it. So, yeah, we're cutting. And are you delivering today? I, I am not, but my husband and my son is. Send oh. the strong ones. Makes <laughs> sense. Makes sense. Thank you so much, Anita. No Miss Emma, we've got you on camera this morning. What are you doing right now? We are just making it as easy as possible for the people who are grabbing and doing the hampers to be able to put items inside so there's very little confusion. Okay. So are you, is your family during the Christmas holidays a canned cranberry sauce or a from scratch cranberry sauce family? I'm pretty sure that my mother-in-law would not use anything out of a can. Oh. So oh. I'm guessing <laughs> okay. we're from scratch. Okay, okay. I don't know. I'm not a cranberry sauce person myself, so. <laughs> I'm just thankful I don't have to do it. Yeah, Thanks, come Mom. on. There we go. Come on. Make it all nice and pretty. This is not endorsed by Horizon Church, uh, the Tim Hortons. It's not us. It's not endorsed I, I, by us or it's not endorsed by Tim Hortons? No, it's not endorsed by us. We do not endorse. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. So. Don't. We don't so like Tim Hortons. I, I mean. This is not the official coffee there's, of there's Horizon Church. When in desperate uh, times, desperate measures, um, Tim Hortons just must be like more giving than Starbucks. That's true. They, they are Canadian. Yeah, so that they've got sense. that giving spirit yeah. built into their company. Yeah. Uh, Starbucks though. So this year we have something really exciting that's brand new. We have all of these blankets that were made. And Pastor Craig, can you tell us a little bit about this project here? I can. So if you can see right here, these uh, come from our local Surrey pretrial center where uh, people awaiting trial, instead of not doing anything, wanted to do something to give back to the community. So it's our great joy to partner with our friends at the Surrey Pretrial Center, uh, with some of the, the guards there and the, the inmates all working together to help make a difference in the community. So uh, they, they, uh, they're doing different projects and then from some of the offcuts, they've made these beautiful uh, kind of like quilts. How, how big are they? Let's open it up and see. So pretty big. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. And these are like thick. These look like they're like 
least one oh, material. So nice in the winter time. And uh, so everybody's going to get one of these. And then as well, we have uh, a lady in our church who also wanted to contribute in her own way. So she made two of these. I was going to say it's a uh, knitting, but I think it's crocheting. Ugh, there's not a debate an, going on right now. What's it going to be? I think it's crocheting. So she made these. I don't know if she was like watching TV or something, but made them all over uh, for the last year. So every family's going to get a little homemade gift as well as that. So that's it's amazing. A real, it's a real partnership of people giving financially, uh, inmates that are, you know, just a mere mile or so away from here, people at their home, all working together to make a difference in the community. So I, it's, it's super fun. Uh, we had some of the guards just coming through here uh, to deliver this. They were excited to be a part of it. The, the inmates as well contributed from their own pockets $370 towards the cost of food hampers. Uh, they know what it's like, many of them having gone through difficult situations themselves. And they, uh, a warm blanket makes a difference, it's food in your belly makes a difference, and so it's, it's a great to work together in, as partners in our city and for our city. Everyone working together, there's yeah. always a part you can play, no matter what you do, no matter what your situation is, there's always something you can do to give back, and this is the greatest time of the year to do it, because this is the whole reason that we have Christmas, is to give back, because Jesus gave back at Christmas. Second truckload is here. I think this is our fresh produce. So we've got carrots and we've got apples and onions. Question for you. How many individual onions do you think there are? 150. 150. Do the math on that. I don't know how many there are. Armand, how many individual little carrots do you think there are? Um, 537. It's a pretty exact number. 537 snowmans or 537 carrot dinners, you know. It's a pretty good number if you say so. Let's, Corin, we're going to follow you. What do you have? I have premium potatoes. Ooh, not just regular potatoes. Premium potatoes. Like in fries and stuff. If you, what is your favorite version of potatoes? Like there's mashed potatoes, cubed potatoes, fries. Uh, what else is there for potato versions? What's your favorite though? Um, when I was a kid, my favorite was mashed potatoes. But now I like fries the best. I think I'm still on the mashed potatoes. My mom makes some pretty good mashed potatoes. Let's see these tables getting unloaded. So much bread. Oh my goodness. It says Merry Christmas on it. It's so cute. Adeline, I'm going to corner you one day. Ugh, no kids like me today. It's sad. They all cry and run away. Oh, perfect. Brooklyn and Nevea and Michaela. What is. Your favorite food item here this morning? I haven't looked around yet. Are you a sweet person or a salty person? Like, do you like chips or do you like chocolate? Salty. Sweet. Don't be salty. Sugar. Don't be sweet. salty. Just gotta get the mix, put them all together. The M&Ms and the popcorn. Best snack at Christmas, I guess, all year maybe. Looks like this is the last food items to go. There we go. There we go. Christmas oranges. My mom always puts a mandarin orange in the toe of our stockings. I don't know if that's like an actual Christmas thing or if that's just a my mom thing, but let me know. What do you think? Christmas orange in the stocking or no? I'm here with our Save on Delivery guys, and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for this morning and bringing all the food. You've been so helpful unloading the trucks and helping us get everything in there organized. Okay, let's start packing hampers. Off to the races we go. We are going to start packing these boxes. Volunteers are making their way down. Everyone gets a box and we just go down and fill them up. There's some pros here. They like to pack too many at a time, but we'll see how many we get through. Let's see. This is the very beginning of the line. People are so smart, they bring their own dollies even now, so you just like don't have to carry it or kick it or push it or like 
wrestle it or I don't know. Sometimes they get way too heavy. We see here, Luann, that you are quite in charge of this situation. Well, Angie is really, but I'm helping out. Okay, then what is your job today? My job is quality control, so it's kind of involved in this, but I'm going to be at the door. You know, don't pass unless you've been double, triple checked. Kicking people back to make sure they Absolutely. get the right number of items. Absolutely. Yeah. So good to have people like Luann making sure we're all accountable here today. How's it going, Angie? I know it's a big so, rush of people. But we are so excited. This is our favorite time of year. Right? It's yeah. so good. It's so much fun, yeah. especially for the whole family, right? Yes. It's so much fun. The kids can help, and they feel so a part of it, and it's so valuable for them. I saw your little girls running around earlier. They're packing boxes, unpacking boxes, squishing boxes. We've been thinking about this all week. Mom, you remember last year? Can I do a job again? Can I be valuable? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Putting something on the calendar, getting ready for it each and every single year. Marvin, oh, no. you oh, just so happen I am the interviewer You are today. the interviewer, yes ma'am. So what is your favorite part of Hamper Weekend? Well, my favorite part is loading these boxes up because to me that's exciting fun with the anticipation of someone else unpacking them. Mm -hmm. And you know how it is at Christmas, the little kids opening the presents so and taking all the stuff. See. And so as I'm putting in, I'm anticipating the fun of people pulling it back out. Taking the joy for yourself as uh, well. Well, because it, you know, it's it's given it shall be given, so we share, so we we give the joy so that they can receive the joy. Come on. And I see your little grandbabies are running around too. Uh, yeah, they do. Well, but you see, this is the the important thing is that this isn't a generation. This is generational, that's and that's so what it's all about. So good. Everybody has a part to play. Everybody's can able to do it. No one's too small. Everyone has a place to job to do. Ooh, what is this station in here? This is the best station. Best station. Ah. <laughs> Everyone's saying their station's pretty good. What makes your station so great, Cherith? We've got the gifts. We've got the presents. This is the thing that the kids actually want. All these tables are now empty. The boxes are filled. They, I think, was the fastest we've ever done it. I think it was literally 15 minutes. It was so fast. Everyone was through getting things done. Daniel's talking. So if we can all head out to these boxes, every year bags, we have the problem of people putting too many box, or forgetting the noodles or not getting Once two of these or only putting one. But these quality check people have done such a great every job making sure that we have everything that we need. Every box gets in there, everything they need. Let's check in with our quality checkers. Quality checkers. How has quality checking gone with your checking today? Phenomenal as always, we're excellent at our job. <laughs> Perfect, no problems here, no problems here. Except, except quality checkers. We have some yams left over. So how did quality check go if we, extra yams, Tori? What are we gonna do with the extra yams? We're gonna add extra yams to some of the bigger Look at this, yams for all, one for you, one for all. Oh, and look at all these people bringing in all these ba all the bags of blankets. blankets. B, not look at B these blankets. Magic of Christmas. Magic of Christmas. Go and see a little bit of the backstage stuff of gifts. This is where all our Christmas gifts are stored. We've got all our people waiting to come pick up the gift that goes with their hamper that they deliver. Look at all these presents. These were all brought by you guys. You guys gave, you guys went out and picked up gifts that kids had requested and are looking forward to. I'm so excited. I so exciting that kids will get to, on Christmas morning, open up a present that they might not have had otherwise and they can just have something underneath their Christmas tree it's gonna be so exciting hi mom who what would what, what would you like to say to the, the the people today Merry Christmas uh, I, that's better than what I was gonna come up with good morning church we're here at George Vanier we're starting to unload all the presents that was wrapped on Friday night all 586 of them they're wrapped they're 
filled and they're being unloaded now. All of our students are so excited to get their present in a few minutes. Let's go see how our unloaders are doing. Pastor Mike, I have a question for you. Yes. Hi, if, Annika. If, <laughs> how has the morning been so far? It's been really great. It's been a lot of fun. Nice watching the kids have their assembly. They're so excited as we are. But now we're really excited because as you can see, we're getting all the presents ready and the kids are coming. So we're really excited. Got to get it done. Got to get it ready. Get it That's right. Christmas is a coming. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. You can keep going. I see a reindeer over here. Let's ask him how it's going to this morning. Hello, Mr. Reindeer. How many presents do we have left to unload? Lots. Oh, a lot. Maybe I shouldn't interrupt. <laughs> it's looking good though. Looking good. good. Let's I'm, take a quick look inside. Oh my goodness. It is freaking packed in here, but we have, we have Santa's elf. Here, I'll take them. I'll take them. I'll take them. I'll take them. Here we go. Here we go. I'm a little tangled up in this little cord here, but here we go. I'll unload them. Oh, I'm skipping the whole line. Sorry, guys. You are so organized, and I just came in here, and I just ooh, almost dropped one. There, I'll give them to you. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Ooh, Miss, Miss, uh, uh, Pastor Shanda, <laughs> or Mom. You know, either one works. Let's go stand over here and look at these presents. Okay. What do you think of them this year? It is so exciting. We just actually had one of the teachers come in, and she said, it's my favorite day of the entire year. How could it not be? You just get to see all the joy on kids' faces, and it's so amazing. Best part of the year. So thankful that we have the opportunity to do this. Just seeing the gifts as they stack up, and then when the kids come in, they get so excited. It's amazing. It really is one of my favorite days of the year as well. You get to learn how to give back in the kids, and you see the joy that's filled on their face, and you get to be part of that joy. So church, we are so thankful for everything that you've done this past week, and good job, and let's do it again next year. Quick question for you. Oh, so yes. Is this your very first time experiencing all this? No. No. Okay, so you know what this means for the kids. Yes, it is the most exciting day of the year, and they are anticipate it until it happens, and here they are, and overjoyed. So we really do appreciate and thank you. So. Yeah, I think overjoyed is such a great word. When I saw, this is my first time. You're so first yeah, so when I saw the kids come in, just the, the first girl, her face just lit up and she was so excited. Yeah. So I'm just so thankful that we get to do this. It's so, so joy filling, it is. right? And we first started, my first year here when you guys came to visit, we started in the multi-purpose room and it was mm -hmm. a small room and it just, it was filled with excitement and noise and moving it into the gym is just so amazing because they get to jump around and they get yeah. to really show how they're feeling. For sure, that is so awesome. We're so excited to continue on this morning. I can't wait till all the presents are gone and that means that everybody has a present. So Pastor Carly has organized all of this. She's our kids pastor here at the church and she's working throughout all of the year to plan for presents, to plan for the day, to plan for wrapping. And this is just the best time because we get to see all the kids actually get their presents. So let's ask Carly some questions about this morning. Carly, how has today gone so far? It is amazing. So much fun. Can you describe or like act out the best reaction that you have seen so far to getting their present? Oh gosh. <laughs> I think we need to see it now. <laughs> Just the kids are so thankful and so excited. I think that's great. The the kindergarten class, they're just the cutest, the littlest ones and with their big bright eyes and so excited. Like that Christmas magic is just all over. So we are so excited to be giving out these presents. So our volunteers are so great every year. They come, some take time off work because they just know that they're gonna be having so much fun when they get to give all the students gifts. But some were a little bit concerned the first time we asked them about, can you help us wrap over 500 presents? So let's ask Virginia what her reaction was the first time we started this at the church over four years ago, after she gives away her presents. Virginia is also the best at giving away presents. Virginia, can I ask you a real quick question? A real question. Yeah. What was your reaction the very first time the church started doing this and we said we're going to give away 400 presents? I said, 
Are you crazy? <laughs> but aren't you so glad that we get to do it now? Yeah. I'm so glad we start doing it. Mm -hmm. I, I was here with your grandmother first time we mm -hmm. came. That was amazing, awesome. So is it a bit of a tradition now? Every year you come and give out presents? Yes, yes. It's more than a tradition. It's, it's a blessing from my heart to see all these kids. All the joy on their face. It's overwhelming. Yeah, thanks so much, Virginia. So thank you so much, Horizon Church, for everything that you've done this weekend. Thank you for your generosity and your time and your money and your, and your treasures and everything. It's enabled us to be able to give away over 500 presents, over, over 60 hampers to people in our city. And we are just so thankful for everything that you've done. Keep it up. Let's do it again next year.